Welcome, welcome back to Open Remote. Our last guest is a saxophonist, composer, and educator who is also a Grammy Award and Downbeat Critics Poll winner. He's a lecturer of jazz improvisation at the Yale School of Music. And today he's here to tell us more about his musical self, the virtual classes he's offering, and his upcoming album, The Humble Warrior. Please welcome Wayne Escoffrey. Hi, Wayne. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm hanging in there, you know, hunkering down here in the Bronx doing my thing. Yeah, I feel you. Huh? But at least you're you're doing virtual classes though, right? Exactly. And uh, you know, like I've been telling my 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 close friends and loved ones, you know, at least we have music in our lives to keep us engaged and active. So So talk talk to me and share a little bit about uh share a little bit uh uh what your schedule looks like, right? Because you teach uh, at different universities, correct? Yeah, so uh, so you know, for the fall semester before all of this, I was teaching at the Yale School of Music, and I still am a professor of jazz improvisation and also a combo instructor at the Yale School of Music in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, and um, for the spring semester, uh, I was asked to be visiting uh, artists in um, in jazz studies at Williams College in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Uh, in addition to that, I teach a program called Jazz for Teens, uh, which is a part of NJPAC in, in Newark, New Jersey. So before all of this, I was doing all of those things and traveling all, you know, between uh, New Haven, Connecticut, Williamstown, Massachusetts, and Newark, teaching all these programs. But now it's all virtual. So um, uh, basically, uh, probably about three days a week, I'm online uh, teaching students and giving them assignments and doing lectures the same way we're speaking right now. So, and they don't overlap, obviously, right? No, well, I guess the good thing is that we're a little bit more free with the scheduling, so we make sure that uh, that it all works out. And then, of course, in addition to my private instruction, I, you know, I do some Skype lessons, some one-on-one -on -one saxophone lessons and improvisation instruction. So, uh, as it turns out, I'm actually pretty busy here at home, so. Do you find that you're busier being at home? Well, it's a combination of not being busy at all and being and, and then being too busy, you know, because uh, because of the way social media is and we're all connected in a certain way. You know, you see so many people doing so many things. and You're like, man, I'm lazy. I got I to do this. I got to do that. And then the next thing you know, you're packed with all these things that you're trying to do. So it's it's finding that balance. I mean, it's in a, in a way it's a, it's a good good lesson for all of us to try to figure out um, exactly how much we need to do and how much we want to do and, and all that. You know, that's a really good point. Do you find that your pace has shifted? Yeah, it is. You know, the one thing, the one advantage about being a jazz musician is we're, we're really, we're really uh, always self-motivated -motiv and we kind of always work from home anyway. I mean, you know, a regular jazz musician's schedule is really, he's, he or she is home practicing for most of the day, learning music, um, you know, doing some business online, and then in, in the evening you're playing. So you end up self-regulating your, your schedule as it is. But um, so it's kind of a lot more of the same. The difference is now we don't get that outlet to actually leave the house and, and, and you know, release the music. Right. I, I feel you. But uh, as an artist, I'm saying um, when you're already used to kind of getting to this place by this time and, and trying to get to this other place and trying to meet these deadlines. And now you're while you do have a certain set schedule, the, the pace in which things are operating, because I, I, I almost feel like our priorities have shifted. Sure, sure. And you know, what's well, for me, for, for me, I, I don't know that my priorities are shifted so much, just that now I have less excuses. You know, before, in a way, I'd be like, man, I really want to get my online thing happening. I want to do this. I got to do this, but I'm so busy. Now I'm kind of like, well, uh, now's the time to do it. So now I have to fit in all of the things that I always wanted to do, like reorganize my office space, you know, do things like that with still teaching and, and, and making lesson plans and doing all of that. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on all at once. We're, you know, it's it's funny because we're all in our own heads, and we all we're all our own own. Deep, we all have a, our own worst enemy uh, as well, too. You know, so. Yeah. Well. Um, so how's that coming along? <laughs> <laughs> some days there are good days, and some days there are bad days. That's why I'm glad. Like I said, that's why I'm glad I have music. Um, I have a few close friends and loved ones to help me out here and there. So, uh, you know, lucky we have that. Yeah, and also you have a, an album coming out, right? You have a, a debut uh, release. I do, and that's a, that's a that's a nice thing that's happening. Even though I'm not, you know, getting out, um, I have a new album on the Smoke Sessions label. And Smoke is a jazz club where I, I really uh, kind of uh, 
grew up in in many in many respects playing in new york city it's on the upper west side on 106 and broadway and they have a record label smoke session so they're putting out my um i've signed to that label and they're putting out my next record it's coming out april 10th and actually the cd release performance was going to be that week starting april 9th i was going to perform for a week at smoke now that's not happening but the cd's still coming out there's still going to be a lot of things i'm going to be posting and different different clips and stuff so it's it's an exciting time man. well would you be doing a virtual a concert or some sort? I might be organizing something small. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't mean to pressure you. But I, like to be the new I, don't like, I don't like giving my stuff away though, so I might just wait until after this is over. And then, <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. I'll do, I'm gonna diff, definitely give a little taste of what's 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 to come. So we're, we're, I'm trying to figure out the, the, the uh, technical aspects of all that. But we'll try to do something, sure. Well, you're gonna give us a taste of something today, right? What are you gonna be giving us a taste of? Uh, I'm probably just going to improvise. You know, uh, there's, a, there's a saying in the jazz community that uh, you can't lose with the blues. And we all have a bit of the blues now. And, uh, uh, and uh, you know, the blues has always uh, given us a, a format for expressing what's happening. So that's what I'll do. I'll give you some blues. All right. So you ready to give us some blues now? Sure. Oh, boy. Here we go. Everybody, please welcome Ways. Wayne Escoffrey. <laughs> you everyone that was Wayne and Scott Ray just improvising some blues on his sax you see you changed the tone of my voice and everything <laughs> good 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 yeah it's important it's important to just be in touch it is it is it makes us uh it just brings us back to the basics basics the basics of basics of life the basics of uh, soul <laughs> Yeah, and thank you for touching mine. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And you guys, once again, The Humble Warrior is going to debut April 10th. And uh, for private lessons with Wayne, you can visit wayneescoffrey.com. And for more on his music, check out his Instagram at Wayne underscore Escoffrey. That is our show today, mi gente. 
thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at BronxNet.tv. I'm Rina Valentin, and from all of us here at Open, may the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor, digitally linked, in solidarity, reminding you we are all in this together. And uh, stay blessed, healthy, and safe. And remember, stay home. Prayers up. Stay home.